help me out of my feet. I can get us back to where we were, and I promise I can make that happen. Thanks for flipping this one on me. Had no idea what was going on, so I always like a movie where I think I know what's happening and then completely turn it upside down. So how do we describe this film to audiences? <laughs> because it's a tough one. We can't really talk about it. I mean, why do we have to? Well, <clears throat> just, just for the heck of it. Let's I, just... I, think, I think the easy way to say it is like you're going to get what you might think. Uh, and then you're also going to get, get you're also going to get a lot more, and a little extra. Hopefully, it'll be uh, the little dessert that you didn't uh, didn't know you wanted, but then you loved it. In, in your research, were you going to hospitals and observing and watching patients that were? Um... No, I mean that would be kind of awkward. Mm. Uh, I was lucky enough to be able to talk to a few different people who had suffered from severe severe depression and were on the other side of it and were able to talk to me about it. And also, the other thing that I did which was, you know, more comfortable than like going to a hospital and viewing people was YouTube. People put video diaries on there yeah. and there's tons of them of people who are suffering from depression. So I, I watched a lot of those and they mm. were really interesting. interesting. You know, the news makes it out that, you know, it's always the, 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 um, the client that's the victim, but I saw your, your yeah, character no, as the victim. He is, he is the victim. I mean, it's a, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Because on the one hand, you have to admire the great skill it takes to 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 get to a point where you can diagnose and analyze a patient from uh, a conversational relationship, but equally you're absolutely right. If you if you think of that relationship from the other side and someone going to them, you know, demanding, uh, uh, um, you know, change my life, help me, help me, help yeah. me, help me, then then you're putting that in. That's in, a tough spot. It is a tough spot, and you have to suddenly think, well, maybe that's our fault as a society. Maybe we have an overemphasis that you want, you know, sometimes the problem lies at home, not necessarily um, to be answered, you know, if you're demanding it from a doctor. How have things been going with you? I can finally sleep. I have some energy. We had sex. Whoever makes this drug is going to be rich. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Someone's been murdered. Your character kind of gets, you know, her world gets flipped upside mm -hmm. down. Yes, exactly. And I think she's, you know, she starts off a victim because she lost her job in finance. And, you know, I think that really sets the tone for everybody. Like, you know, it's a thriller. A okay. A great modern day thriller that takes you on a ride that um, is very plausible. And I think that's what makes it so scary. This movie shows that anyone can be a victim. Sure. And, and what people don't realize is that I think doctors, to be effective, have to be naive. You know, you, if you're working in an emergency room, you come in saying you, you've got chest pain, I'm not going to go, yeah, prove it. I have to jump in and believe you. So too in a psychiatric office. If I, come in, if I come in to see you and I tell you I'm depressed, you have to believe me. And so, you know, it's all about establishing that relationship and it's all about analyzing what's going on and putting it into context to make that determination. Is this real? Is this not real? I don't understand why this is happening. You know her? Would you have treated her differently if she was a man? That's not what happened. And what is going on? Uh, you know, this movie's got a little bit of social commentary. Uh, Channing, do you think that in a way it, it, it's kind of saying, Maybe the, the us as Americans or the U.S. is a little bit overmedicated, and and just a pill will, you know, will fix everything. You know, uh, you know, it's a question we've been asked a lot. I mean, I think the simplest answer is that there are real things that people need pills for, mm -hmm. and then there are, you know, people that abuse it. Uh, you know, that are because it, it can be an addiction uh, for sure. And then there's the larger thing that I think I don't have a problem saying because I don't think it's too political, that it is a ginormous business that yeah. is completely, I think, taken advantage of uh, by, the, by the, you know, the pharmaceutical sort of huge conglomerates. <laughs> Destroy that before it destroys you. 